What is up guys? You have multiple monitor and one of them is not detected or it's displaying duplicate things on both sides or you're dragging stuff to the left is showing up to the right, orientation is off, whatever the case is, this is the ultimate monitor guide. I'm going to show you exactly and everything you need to know about working with multiple monitors in this video. Let's do it. All right, enough with the long intro. Let's get this tutorial on the road. This is a beginner friendly guide, so bear with me. Let's check out the first issue where maybe you plug your monitor in and nothing isn't happening. Maybe only one works. So you come down here into the display settings and the multiple display isn't showing any more monitors or any options here. You can click, <laughs> you can click detect but it still doesn't detect anything and you're wondering what's going on. First thing we should know is how to plug them in correctly. Now before you go ahead and check your cables, what you could do is just check behind here to make sure you have done it right. So here's the catch. Your BIOS by default will disable your onboard graphic card if you have something plugged in into your graphic card that you've purchased or that also came with the machine. <laughs> So if you plug something in here, for example, in here you've plugged in monitor one or two, and then over here you've gone ahead and plugged in your second monitor, two or three, guess what? These monitors will not work, will not be detected. Sorry about that. What you wanna do is to use the multiple ports that you have on your graphic card and not the onboard graphic card. Yes, there is a way to fix it so that both the onboard and the graphic card, let's just call it the external one, but both the onboard and the external graphic card will work with some modifications inside your BIOS. This is a beginner's guide. I don't want you to do that. I say the best solution is to make sure all your monitors are plugged in to your graphic card or don't plug any in there and then plug them all into your onboard. So it's either or either, either or either. Let's assume that's not your issue. You've plugged everything into the right slots in the back of your computer. Follow your wire. Make sure your wire works. Now, to determine that your wire works is to simply find another wire and test it. Maybe if you have another monitor works, change the wires of those two monitors and see if they continue to work. If you switch wires to the monitor that does work and then the monitor that, does, that, that used to work doesn't work anymore and now the one that doesn't work works then you know that you have a faulty wire hop over to amazon buy yourself a new wire and boom you're in it guys it's pretty open and closed now if you switch wires and the monitor that used to work still works and the monitor that doesn't work still doesn't work then you know it's not your wires then it tells you it's your monitor sorry to tell you that but it seems like you might have to replace that monitor in this quick clip here, I went to the back of my machine because I was having issues with both my monitors. This one right here was a working one and then the one next to it wasn't working. Now this is actually um, a display port, it's a display adapter and the other one is a um, HDMI. So what I'm doing is simply switching this over to another slot and then I came over and give it a check and it was still off, still not detecting anything. Um, and so I decided, all right, let's check the ports, check the wire. You can see here, this is where the adapter connects to what's called a DVI. Um, and that wasn't working. So I decided I'm gonna switch out this uh, DVI wire. And if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna try to maybe uh, switch out the adapter itself. So now I have a black DVI wire, just doing some troubleshooting. I'll go ahead and I'll plug this up into the back of my monitor. You want to make sure everything is nice and tight. Screw them in really nice and snug. Check all your wires, make sure they're nice and snug. Sometimes you want to check the little pins inside the, um, the DVI wires if you're working with one of those. Make sure nothing is bent. Um, you know, make sure everything is, is perfect. Check everything. There could be pins bent and all that stuff. And then at the end of this, I'll plug it in and try it again. So now at the other end of the wire, here's the old one. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this one. I just quick little troubleshooting we're doing here. Unscrew it, this is the adapter because my um, graphic card only takes HDMI and uh, two, two, uh, what is it? two display ports. 
So quickly I check the teats on these, make sure everything looks good, right? And then I'm just gonna connect this new DVI to this adapter. And I'm gonna give it a go. After switching out the wire, came back to the machine, and I can see here that it actually detected something, but it's still set to show on one monitor. So what you're gonna need to do is click on this drop down here and choose to show extend. And uh, give a second and voila, there we go. And then I'll just click to keep my changes. Hopefully you have your monitors at least being detected now. Now we're going on to the easy stuff. Duplicated screen, they're all showing the same thing. At the end there you saw how I changed that to extended. That is what you'd want if you have duplicated things. Now the orientation is off. That is really simple guys. Let me show you how to fix that. If both your screens are duplicated, come down here. Click on this drop down and choose extend these displays. When you get the prompt to keep changes, go ahead and click keep changes. And that's it. Let's fix the orientation issue real quick and wrap this up. When I click detect, it shows monitor one right here on the right. In the virtual display, it's on the left. So the computer believes that my monitor one is actually on the left and my monitor two is on the right. Just flip them over, click and drag and move them around. You don't actually have to pick up your monitors and switch them. That, even though it will work, is not necessary. So click detect and see where your monitor one and two is located and just make them match how you want them to match on the virtual screen. So now if I drag, you can see I can go left and right from two, I can go right from one, I can go left over to two because that is how the display is set up. Let's give this a quick test. I have a photo here of me and I'm able to go onto monitor number two and go right with it. You can see that because that's how it's set up on the display. You see two is on the left, which means I can drag it over to one on the right. That's it. Congratulations on fixing your own monitor setup. You're independent. You're awesome. If I did help you out, then leave a comment in the bottom so I know or drop a like and I'll also know that way. <laughs> you can also subscribe. I'm not going to force your hand, but a good person will. A good person will. All right. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>